Hey everyone, it's Scott here from FastView. I was just going through the Astaro forums and came across this question here saying, can anybody tell me how I can use profiles to configure access to sites and categories by time period? And I thought it would be a pretty good opportunity to make a quick video and show you how we can allow sites during certain times using Sophos UTM. So let's cross over to the web admin interface for Sophos UTM. The question referred to using web filter profiles. Now, if we go down here to web filter profiles, I don't think you really need to create a new profile for this job. The purpose of a profile is to create a completely new proxy, essentially, that you can apply to specific networks. For example, if you have a guest network and you want to use a different authentication scheme to allow BYOD devices such as iPhones and so on, then you can define exactly how the proxy operates, whether HTTPS scanning is enabled, and define a separate range of policies. But usually, and certainly for my case, we can do the job just by using the main web filtering policy back here. So let's go to the policies page and you can see I already have a block time wasting sites policy, which is set to run always. And if I go to the filter action, we can see what it's doing. It's blocking some of the nasty categories such as gambling, nudity, suspicious weapons, and so on but it's also blocking a couple of defined websites such as Facebook and YouTube. You can see I've added all the domains that Facebook uses to the blacklist here. And you can see that it's working because if I go to facebook.com and refresh the page, you can see that it's blocked. It's blocked by a blacklist, so that's great. So let's go ahead and try to allow it for certain times. Let's say outside of work hours, in the morning, in the evenings, and on lunch breaks, and maybe even on weekends, let's allow access to YouTube and Facebook and just open up the policies a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is define a filter action. I already have a filter action to block time-wasting sites, but I don't have one to allow time-wasting sites. So let's go down here to web filter profiles, go to filter actions, and to save time, I've already created the action down the bottom here. So let's edit this filter action. I've called it time for fun. And you can see that it's just opened up all the categories, so it's allowing everything. I'm still blocking suspicious reputation sites because that's always good to do. But on websites, I have a white list defined for Facebook and YouTube. Just a side note on this, when you're adding an allow list for something you've already blacklisted, you need to give the list a different name. So my blacklist was called facebook.com and I had to call this just Facebook. Otherwise it complains about having a block list with the same name. Anyway, so now we need to apply this more lenient filter action to our global list of policies, but only for non-work hours. Now if I click add, I can select the time that I want to apply this new filter action to. So I've got lunch, time to install updates, weekends and work hours. Now lunch kind of works for me, so let's select the time for fun filter action and we'll call the policy allow fun during lunch. And you can also apply it to certain users and groups, but I'm just gonna leave that applying to everyone for now. So let's enable the policy and we'll also push the block filter to the bottom. Now the time just happens to be 12.45, which falls into my lunch period. So let's see if it's working. And look at that. Awesome, I can get to Facebook on my lunch break. Now, we also want to allow access to these sites in the mornings and evenings before and after work, but there are no defined time events for this. So let's go and create them. Where that's done is over here in definitions and users, we have time period definitions. So let's create a new time period definition and let's call it non-work hours AM. And let's say from midnight to 9 AM in the morning, and let's apply that to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and save that. And let's create one for the evening. So non-work hours PM, and we're going to do that from say 5 PM, which is when everyone leaves. So let's go 1700 through to 1159, and select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, save that. Cool. So now we have uh, non-work hours AM, non-work hours PM. We already had one for lunch and we've got one for the weekend. Now, if your lunch break is different, just come in here and edit the time, pretty easy. So now let's go back to web protection, web filtering policies, and let's create some more policies for the morning and evening. So let's go non-work hours AM. Let's select the time for fun filter action and we'll call it allow morning fun. Click OK and let's enable the policy and let's add another policy 
we'll select the non-work hours PM and call it allow evening fun and make sure we select the right filter action click OK let's enable the policy and let's also push our block time wasting sites rule right down to the bottom to make sure all of the allow policies are evaluated first and that's it so now you should have more lenient web access outside of work hours in the mornings evenings and lunch breaks while still blocking time wasting sites when everyone is supposed to be working now it's a really good idea to keep an eye on these more lenient policies to make sure they're not being abused and the best way to do that is with FastView Sophos Reporter. So let's go to the web protection dashboard and here you can see our new time for fun filter action allowing the traffic. So let's click the green arrow to run a report on this filter action and you can see that just recently it's been in play by a couple of users and these are the sites that are being allowed by the filter action. So Facebook is obviously right at the top along with some other sites that have come along for the ride and we can also see the allowed applications and so on but let's find out more about facebook.com by running an activity report on it here's my new activity report showing people going through the time for fun filter action through to facebook.com and you can see exactly when that activity occurred so it's all happening during lunch breaks and once that lunch break is over at 1 p.m. I'll find that I'm blocked from Facebook so that's how you define time-based policies in Sophos UTM and keep an eye on them using FastView Sophos Reporter. Thanks for watching.